The war between Israel and the militant group Hamas raged for a fifth day on Wednesday, as Israeli warplanes hammered neighborhood after neighborhood in the Gaza Strip, reducing buildings to rubble and sending people scrambling to find safety. Humanitarian groups pleaded for the creation of corridors that would allow them to deliver aid, saying hospitals were overwhelmed with wounded people and running out of supplies. Israel has stopped entry of food, fuel and medicines into Gaza in response to Hamas' bloody incursion into Israel on Saturday. The sole remaining access from Egypt shut down Tuesday after airstrikes hit near the border crossing. The war, which has claimed at least 2,100 lives on both sides, is expected to escalate. New exchanges of fire over Israelis' northern borders with militants in Lebanon and Syria on Tuesday pointed to the risk of an expanded regional conflict. The Israeli military said more than 1,200 people, including 155 soldiers, have died in Israel since Saturday's incursion. In Gaza, 900 people have been killed, including 260 children and 230 women, according to authorities there. Israel says hundreds of Hamas fighters are among them. Thousands have been wounded on both sides. In Israel and beyond, the families of more than 150 people kidnapped by Hamas and other militant groups feared for the lives of their loved ones. The armed wing of Hamas has warned it will kill one of the hostages every time Israel's military bombs civilian targets in Gaza without warning. Israel stepped up its offensive on Tuesday, expanding the mobilization of reservists to 360,000. Israel's military said it had regained effective control over areas Hamas attacked in its south and of the Gaza border. In a new tactic, Israel is warning civilians to evacuate neighborhood after neighborhood, and then inflicting devastation, in what could be a prelude to a ground offensive. On Tuesday, the military told residents of the Al Daraj neighborhood to evacuate. New explosions soon rocked it and other areas, continuing into the night. Fighter jets returned multiple times to another neighborhood, striking 450 targets in 24 hours, the Israeli military said. In Gaza, more than 250,000 people have fled their homes, the UN said, the most since a 2014 air and ground offensive by Israel uprooted about 400,000. U.S. President Joe Biden on Tuesday again condemned the attack by Hamas calling it an act of pure unadulterated evil. In this moment, we must be crystal clear, we stand with Israel. The Ford Carrier Strike Group has arrived in the far eastern Mediterranean, within range to provide a host of air support or long-range strike options for Israel if requested, but also to boost the U.S. military presence to prevent the now four-day-old war with Hamas from spilling over into a more dangerous regional conflict, 